Get old getting fat, huh? That's one of God's little tricks, isn't it? Now you're old, now you're fat. Oh man, I'm so tired of worrying about being fat. I've been worrying about being fat for 30 years. I'm tired of worrying about it. Done, done. I like to eat, I like to drink, and I really don't like to run around a lot. Get a bigger suit, that's all I can do, get a bigger suit. <laughs> Makes me mad, because people always, you know, always get, why, you gained so much weight. You know what, I'm going the other way. How about that, okay? I want to see how fat I can get. I want to go to the beach and frighten lounge chairs. <laughs> people always have, why should you just change your diet? If you change your diet, I mean, last time I changed my diet, I was hungry. <laughs> Or you should be a vegetarian, don't you like animals? Well, of course I love animals. They're delicious. <laughs> I like my animals medium rare. <laughs> if you want to eat a burger, you should try a veggie burger. Yeah, well, have you ever had a veggie burger? I'd rather die from a slurpy brain freeze <laughs> than have to eat a veggie burger. I want a burger burger. I want a greasy fatty dripping with burger juice burger. I want the kind of burger that wakes me up at two o'clock in the morning and has my heart exit my body like the alien. <laughs> and I want my heart to have a conversation with me. <laughs> what the heck you doing, you crazy bum? You're killing me, I got plaque everywhere. <laughs> that was a good burger. <laughs> oh, I try, I try, I do certain things, I try, I do. I, uh, I watch aerobics, you watch aerobics? <laughs> Yeah. I watch them on the Playboy channel, that's really good. Because <laughs> my heart rate goes up and it's almost like exercise. <laughs> I love when the aerobics instructor looks into the camera as if they're speaking directly to you. you know? Hey, you folks at home, you're doing great. <laughs> I'm in bed with a bowl of ice cream. <laughs> Really, I didn't think I was doing that good, quite frankly, I gotta tell you. Step up the pace, you got it, pal. Let me get those M&Ms, I'll do the M&M dance for you. Fat. I'm old, I'm married, I'm fat. A plus B equals C. You change when you get married. That's right, women know that, men don't, and that's the end of that story. <laughs> men know very little about marriage, we don't know what the heck we're getting into. Morons, we're goofballs, we're doofuses, we're walking doofy, we don't know. I don't know, I don't know, we don't know. We don't even know when we do something wrong, do we? You ever see a guy being yelled at by his wife at the mall? He says, well, what, what did I do, what? <laughs> My God, calm down, will you? Uh, what did I do again? You sure it was me? <laughs> Might have been another guy. <laughs> All right, I won't do it again. <laughs> of course we do it again. You know why? Because we're not listening in the first place. <laughs> Change when you get married. Only a wife will blame her husband for the smell of industrial waste. <laughs> Something smells odd, she looks right at me. <laughs> We're in a car, we're on a bridge, we are directly on top of an oil refinery. She turns and goes, was that you? <laughs> oh yeah, that was me. That's right, I had Chernobyl for breakfast. <laughs> My wife likes to compare her body, she compares her body with other women's bodies, then she wants me to help her in the comparison. This, my friends, is a no-win situation. <laughs> Honey, see that girl over there? Is my rear end bigger or smaller than hers? All of a sudden, I'm the official rear end inspector. <laughs> How do you win, especially when it's bigger? What do you say? Yeah, your rear end is 10 times the size of that girl's rear end. Here, here are the satellite photos. You figure it out. <laughs> Look, you're right next to the Kmart. See, that's you. You can't see the K, but I'm telling you, that's the K mark. <laughs> Poor men, so many things we have to figure out. Items and products we're not used to. You get married, boom, potpourri. What the heck is potpourri? I didn't even know there's a product out there called potpourri. 
At least now I know what it is. Expensive bags of smelly mulch. <laughs> Bag of mulch, you ever take a look at it? What is it? No, rock, piece of bark, some leaves, some grass. It smells like cinnamon, costs 58 bucks! <laughs> smelly mulch, and it's everywhere. I said, honey, why do we need so much? Potpourri, ooh, I just want to disguise certain odors. I don't think it's any small coincidence that most of those bags are near my things. <laughs> I go by the cat box, there's no potpourri there. <laughs> Ladies with the story with the pillows. Before I got married, I had one pillow. Now that I'm married, 4,386 pillows. <laughs> what do you do with all the damn pillows? What do you need them for? Igloos, barricades, what? And they're all over the bed, I can't sleep on that bed. Not a bed for me, it's a bed for the pillows. <laughs> pillows live on that side of the bed. Sometimes I go to bed, there's 30 pillows, I wake up, there's 45. How does that happen? <laughs> yeah, we're different pillows, that's one thing for sure. You know what's the big difference between men and women? I'll tell you right now, the big difference is this. A woman will clean the toilet. A man will attempt to pee the stain away. <laughs> I need cleanser, I just need another beer. <laughs> I will work that baby loose. <laughs> Why should I put on rubber gloves and I can drink a Heineken, right boys? <laughs> Women always look at me with disdain and disbelief. Believe me, there isn't a man in this room that hasn't done that a hundred times. <laughs> Men cannot resist target practice. 